something biting me. I know you can see that. This is Angelique with FLRVFamily.com and today I'm going to be talking to you about no seams. It's the bug that we so lovingly call no seam because we can't see them, but oh man, oh man, when they bite you, you can certainly feel it. So today I'm gonna to be giving you some information. So get your pen and paper, write this stuff down so you can be one of the smarter people in your group and share the information with them and let them know what they can do to protect themselves from no seams, how to treat no seams, and of course, how to have a better time with your family. Here we go. Number one. Where do these guys live? Well, they live just about anywhere where there's water. So you gotta protect yourself from them. How do you protect yourself? It can be anything from clothing that you wear to uh, insect repellent that you use. And also the times of day, the day that you choose to go out. Um, keep in mind that no seams do like to feed between dusk and dawn. So try to avoid those times if you can. And if you can't, uh, you need to get a good insect repellent. Uh, DEET, I don't know. I mean, DEET's good for mosquitoes, but uh, there's a new product out there called Picaridin, and there is a company called Sawyer that makes it. And this product seems to be getting a lot of raves from users that it works really, really well. And one of the pluses about Picaridin is that unlike DEET, it's odorless, it's non-greasy, and it does not dissolve your plastics or synthetics. And a plus, it's also safe on dogs. So that makes it even better. So you, 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 you know where they live, you know how to protect yourself, and now what happens? You still get bit. Well, this is what you do. If you happen to look down and you're starting to see some little red welts on you, uh, you can go to the bathroom and use very hot soap and water and wash the affected area. This is actually going to uh, alleviate some of the itching. It's not gonna completely stop it, but it will alleviate it. Also, you can go ahead and apply a cortisol cream. And if your symptoms are much worse than that, I would suggest maybe even taking some Benadryl as well. So hopefully this information is beneficial to you. Thank you so much and you all have a wonderful day and